go turn on our waterfalls for our exhibit. We have three waterfalls. Inside this store, we have the Silver Leaf Langer. The Silver Langers have specific keepers, and I'm their lead keeper. I kind of like to feel like I'm a part of their troop. Hi, Bernie. How you doing? Oh, my goodness. Hi, sweetheart. What is that? When I talk to animals, especially ones that I really love, my voice tends to go really high pitched and squeaky and excited. You want to go outside and play? If you have an excited tone versus a scary tone, or your hands are crossed, or you're staring directly into their eyes, they read off of that. You guys ready? Go shift! Whoo, good job! There we go. Silver langers are arboreal, so they're up high, jumping from branch to branch and from tree to tree. Good job, monkeys! If I could watch them all day, I just love to see their reactions. Who's grooming who? Who's being a little trickster to who? It's like kind of watching your kid at daycare. You know, you want to see what kind of interactions they're having with each other. Right now, we have one Langer missing. His name is Kip. He's getting taken care of at the health center. Kip is our almost one-year-old silver Langer in Jungle World. On Friday, he started having some nasal discharge on top of looking lethargic. All right, buddy. Before bringing Kip to the hospital, we did a really thorough exam, but we also gave him some supportive care, um, some injectable antibiotics, some fluids, um, meds to help him feel better. And based on the fact that he just was not responding to the initial medications we'd given him, we knew he was very sick um, and that he needed more aggressive care. OK, you can take the mask away. So we're doing a procedure now to reevaluate him, see where we're at. I'm worried that he has severe diarrhea. I'm very concerned that he is suffering from severe electrolyte derangements due to that diarrhea. There we go. And secondary to that, um, he became what I suspect is uh, septic. Um, so he actually developed an infection that went throughout his body. OK, let's do um, blood work. Sodium's better. Potassium's still low. Oh, yeah, I like that sodium much better. Chloride's better, too. So the electrolytes are better? Yeah, yeah, he's definitely improved. His potassium is still too low to register, but the sodium and his chloride are up. Oh, that's good. Kip is responding over the course of even just today. I think the things we've provided, we've started to see some improvement. Great. His potassium is still too low to read, and that's not good, um, but it tells me that we need to be more aggressive in our, our care of him. I think he really needs some IV antibiotics um, to fight whatever he is dealing with. Suture this place? Yeah. I certainly don't want to pull him away from mom. I certainly don't want to pull him away from his troop if I don't have to, but I don't want him to get so sick to the point where we can't, can't fix it. Do we want to carry him over asleep, and then yeah. we'll reverse yeah. him? Open. Yep, open. Oh, he's holding my hand. Oh, more comfortable. Yeah, that was adorable. Thank you guys very much. has a couple of problems. What we suspect is the primary problem is this diarrhea um, that he just became very dehydrated. Do you want the back, just leg? The back of the leg? You can pace him. And so to help support him through this, we had moved him to our incubator where he could get oxygen and heat support all the time. Cold, just a little cold. Because he's so young um, and he still is um, trusting of us, we are able to do awake procedures with him. So brave. He is so good at this. Yeah. I don't know how come he's always so he good with that. Um, I would love to just take a listen to him and then get a temperature on him. 
I don't hear any crackles or any harsh lung sounds, so that's good. Oh my gosh, 100.1. Wow. Look at you. All right. Kips body temperature is normal for a young Langer. Um, I think of them as kind of like a warm human, um, so they tend to run just a little bit warmer than us. So 99, 100, 101, um, those are all normal temperatures for them. All right, I think you're ready to move. Every day we're making improvement in the right direction. He's been breathing really well, his energy has been improving. So we're actually moving him from our incubator to an enclosure. It's just another area in the hospital. We need to put some water in here for him. He's got the bottle. He's got his bottle. Okay. okay. His glucose is still low. Um, clinically, he looks pretty good, right? And he's eating, and um, it would be nice to recheck tomorrow. We'll just baby steps. All right, well, we'll see how he does today. We'll have keepers up. Perfect. Get him, keep him eating and hydrated. Awesome. Yeah. Every step in the right direction is a step closer to home. And if we can just support him through this, there's a good chance that he will go back to live a happy, normal Langer life. Awesome. Hi, Jess. I'm making this for Kip. I'm gathering some cooked zucchini because it's got a nice high water content, some assorted nuts. I'm gonna cut up some plantain. Currently, plantain is his most desirable food item. His appetite has been really good. He's almost double fisting it. He's like pre-gaming his next snack. Hi, Kip. Hi, doll. Oh, you watching Fraggle Rock? He's usually got a lot of action and activity around him. So it's like white noise, and it's just another thing to help him be comfortable. Hi, puppy. Kip. Come on. Good boy. Kip's health is definitely improved since his procedure. Want a snack for your other hand? His mentation is really good. His activity level is where it should be, and his appetite, good boy, is Perfect. He's eating everything that we give him. Come get a treat. Which one do you want? Zucchini or plantain? <gasps> plantain! Can I groom you, Kip? Oh, good boy. Langers are social animals, and they participate in grooming, which solidifies social bonds. So this hopefully soothes him to some degree. Good job. See, there's that double fisting action I was talking about. This is a great litmus test for future medication needs. You want them getting comfortable coming to you and taking treats and taking them readily. Ah, good job. At this age, it's very imperative that young Langers remain with the group. This is an important time in his life where he's learning social dynamics and he learns that from his mother and siblings. Hopefully, this trend will continue and he'll be on the road to being discharged. I'm being cautiously optimistic. Good job. Welcome, welcome to the jungle world. <laughs> Ready to take him back. All right. And get the crate set up. Munchkin, you ready? Kip's been away from Jungle World and his social group for almost three weeks. It would have been three weeks tomorrow. We are moving Kip back from the health center to Jungle World today. Munchkin face. Here, let me put, sit down. I'll put this over your lap first. He looks all right. He looks bright. He's jumping around, being handled. He's strong in hand. When you look at him, he looks like a little healthy bouncing monkey. She's taking a temp. Okay. I'm just gonna do one final farewell exam on Kip today. I've been wanting to see that he's eating and active, that he doesn't have any sort of fever. This is still higher than it was, but Yay. much better. So you're happy Where we can go? put him I'm in his happy. crate? Also that his blood parameters, which have been very slowly improving, um, but we finally have gotten those to a point where we feel comfortable now um, sending him home. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Dr. Hannah. 
We were all very worried about him, and so to actually get him through this, uh, it feels really good. When we found out Kip was coming back, we were very excited, trying to get everything ready for him. We created a subgroup to reintroduce him to, including his mother and his sister. Oh, good boy, Kip. So we'd separate that subgroup, and we kind of just stepped back and was mostly observing. Hopefully, everybody gets along, and they're just really happy to see him. Who's in there? Peace. Oh, my goodness. There's the mom and then we'd introduce him to the rest of his family. So all 15 Silver Langers are gonna to be together again. We're ready when you are. All right, I can't even see him. That's him down here. He's on the rock work, oh, right though. Right there. Yeah. Right there. Oh, oh, good. Here he is. All right. There he goes. That looks good. Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> At least he's eating. <laughs> Wonderful. Hi. He came out and he's eating all the food up. We've been waiting for this moment for weeks. So we're just very excited that he came to this point. When he was really sick, it was touch and go for a while. And so to see him back here in his exhibit with his family is such a huge relief. And I'm really excited. Hi. Fine, I missed you. <laughs> It feels good to have Kip back with his entire group. These animals are social animals. And being with the bigger group, that's just good for his energy, good for, good for him. With a mouthful of leaves. What a big boy, oh my Jackie goodness. So from here on in, we're back to normal. Well, I'm very happy. Yeah, for sure.